In part C, we want to plot the current versus time, and we want to plot the current at the load L, Z equal L, versus time. Now, when the moment the switch closes, that's T equals zero, and we want to plot up to 5T over 2. So that is two and a half times the, dis the time it takes the wave to propagate down the transmission line. This isn't really drawn to scale, but this is about T, capital T, and this should be 2T. In that amount of time, we know that the initial wave is going to start propagating down as soon as the switch closes. So what's the current here? The current at the load is zero until enough time has elapsed for that initial I1 plus wave to reach the load. And at that moment, at capital T, which is also equal to 0.5 microseconds, which is given, we are going to see I1 plus at the exact same moment that I1 minus is generated. So at this moment, I'm going to label this I1 plus plus I1 minus, which is 0 0.06 amps. Now, there's not going to be another change in the current here until this propagates all the way back down, reflects from the generator, and propagates all the way back down towards the load again. So this is capital T seconds. Here's 2T. This is 3T. So over the time span of 2.5T, we're not going to see anything else change with the current at the load. So I'm just going to have this be constant until we get to the, to the 5 capital T and a half. 5 capital T over 2.